pretty tight window there. I think it's been productive for us, and uh, you know, now really excited about this great opportunity uh, to play in a, a big time event on Saturday in Atlanta. Matt, I know y'all been self scouting probably the last week. What's the biggest thing that y'all emphasized? I know probably everything, but uh, what's the biggest thing y'all had to work on this week? Well, I think everything is the right answer, Sheldon. I, I think you know there's no secret to us. We're, you know we're one of the, the the bottom ten teams in the country as far as returning minutes, so we have a lot of new guys uh, really trying to develop that chemistry uh, within the team. Uh, and, and that takes time. So just trying to stay focused on getting better in all areas. When you when you really want to boil it down to a few things, uh, number one, we have to lower our turnover rate. Uh, offensively, we're just wasting too many possessions uh, due to turnovers. I think secondly, our, our defensive rebounding is very average, and, and that's an area that, that needs to continue to get better for us. And you know, probably a third one, and you know, it's, it's why we have jobs as coaches, is just trying to help players um, make the transition, uh, get a better understanding of system and, and what we're trying to accomplish, uh, really help them play with more confidence uh, so that everybody can max out their role uh, within the team. So um, those are a few areas that stand out. Um, but I think the guys have worked extremely hard. We've had a, had a good week of practice and, and looking forward to this opportunity on Saturday. Yeah, uh, Justice Williams update, has he progressed well? And just when do you guys think he might be back for you? Yeah, good question, Glenn. He's, he's been cleared to return to full contact practice the last two days. Um, I, I think has, has looked pretty good considering you know, how much time he missed uh, coming off that sprained ankle against New Orleans. So uh, our anticipation is if, if all goes well in practice today and tomorrow that he would be fully cleared and, and uh, dressed and ready to go on Saturday. Hey, Coach, Charlie Natchik here. What are you looking at with uh, Wake Forest? What's the scouting report? Well, very well coached team. Uh, Coach Forbes has won a lot of games over the years, does a terrific job with their program. Uh, they've, they've shot it well from three, and they've taken a, a high volume of three. So I think the ability to defend the three-point arc will be critical. Uh, Tyree Appleby has been one of the electric guards in all the college basketball this season. His 30-point performance at, at Wisconsin was special. And then they have great size uh, at the four and the five position, uh, the three position for that matter. Uh, that, that also can step out and shoot the ball from three. So that presents some problems as well. But uh, I think a really good basketball team would be a great great opportunity for us. I think we talked about a little bit about it after the uh, UTA game, but the uh, defense, your defense in the last six minutes of the last two games kind of pulled you through. Um, what did you glean from that uh, over the last week? Well, I think just being more consistent. That we, we had great possessions you know, at closing time over the last six minutes of the last two games. Uh, a lot of the issue there, um, why we haven't been able to sustain that in longer stretches, I think what we would call our first shot defense is, has been really good. But when you give up so many second chance opportunities, uh, it puts a lot of pressure on your defense. So I think defensive rebounding will help us get more consistent there. Uh, and then the final piece, I know I'm being repetitive, but I think all these things go hand in hand. Uh, when you turn the ball over a lot offensively, it puts a lot of pressure on your defense because you're usually playing at a, a disadvantage in transition there. And I think when you look back at the last six minutes of those games, we executed better offensively. Didn't necessarily, necessarily score it at an elite level, but we eliminated some of those turnovers that put us at a, a serious disadvantage in transition. Yeah, Coach, uh, you mentioned Tyree Appleby uh, coming from Florida over there. Just how would you describe his game as a guard and how he's able to be um, effective as a scorer? Well, I think the word I said the first time there was electric. Uh, with the ball in his hands, he's, he's been elite. Uh, great speed with the basketball. Uh, has shot the ball exceptionally well from three. Uh, he's a tough cover in transition because of his speed and explosiveness off the dribble. 
And then I think the final piece of that is um, the offensive design of, of the Wake Forest system has put him in some really good positions uh, with the variety of ball screen actions they've run for him. Yeah, yeah, you mentioned the defensive rebounding there is an area you guys have worked on. Just what's one or two keys to getting that, I guess, on track and kind of where you want to see it? To me, the two biggest keys, uh, I think the front court more physical in the box outs. Uh, I think they're going to box. I think we have to be more physical there. Uh, but where we have the most opportunity for growth, our guards have to rebound better, period. Uh, we're not getting any rebounding, or I shouldn't say any, but very limited rebounding at the guard position. And we have to rebound down. All five guys have to rebound uh, for us to be effective. Now, in theory, you would think some of the other team's guards would be getting back to set their transition defense. Uh, so some of our guards who don't necessarily have box out responsibilities need to get in the mix and chase down some of these long rebounds. We are also forcing, uh, I think, quite a few contested perimeter shots, which are leading to some longer rebounds. Uh, that we have to win more of those 50-50 long rebound opportunities. Um, I think you have four games left before uh, SEC play. Um, this next four-game stretch obviously is critical, but um, how much do you have to do in the next four games to be ready for Arkansas? Well, I always look at every game the same. It's it's opportunity, um, you know, big picture-wise to, to go 1-0 and and get a win, but it's – it's also a chance to get better, and and I think that has to be, you know, the continued focus for us. We, we can't worry about what's happening later in December, early January. Uh, we got to do whatever we can right now to keep getting better as a team, and find ways to win these games. Um, but I think those areas we've talked about, Sheldon, defensive rebounding, uh, being more efficient offensively by turning the ball over less, uh, becoming a better screening team finishing plays more effectively uh, inside the charge circle. You, know, you go down the, the long list there, just trying to have consistent, uh, continuous improvement in those areas. And, and I think that has to continue to be the goal for us. Um, just with Jalen and Tyrell, uh, just how have you seen them continue to improve and grow throughout this non-conference schedule and, you know, as they approach uh, the conference season? Yeah, I think both as freshmen, you know, it's, it's certainly a transition uh, when you're going from high school to college, regardless of level. Uh, I, I think both are, are eager to learn. Uh, I think it's just a matter of with, with any player. You know, we're basically all freshmen uh, on our team this year. And so, you know, the key is you have to come to practice every day uh, with urgency and purpose and focus to get better and to improve. And then I think you see that consistent play and practice start to carry over to the games. And that's what not just Jalen and, and Tyrell, but we're all working uh, to, to show improvement in the program. 